Alright guys, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be going through my top 10 favorite albums that came out in the month of June. Usually I only do about 5 albums, but um, this month was actually like really really good for um, albums, there was quite a bit here that I enjoyed. So getting right into it here, at number 10 I have God Said No by Om Omar Apollo. This one just came out on the 28th of June, and it was pretty good. I was anticipating this album quite a bit, I like Omar Apollo, but it was like... It's kind of just like an album full of songs that were okay. There was nothing that really stood out to me, but overall there was quite a bit of pretty good songs. So it was a, it was an all right album. And at number nine, I have Hardstone Psycho by Don Tolliver. Um, I'm not the hugest Don Tolliver fan, but I think this album's pretty good. There's some bangers on it, but again, it's it's nothing crazy, but it's definitely a solid album for sure. And at number eight, we have Last Chance to See by Salvia Pal, or Palf. Um, this is his like first album under this persona. Obviously, he's done other music in what was it, like 11 or 13 years or something like that. But And it was uh, kind of just came as a surprise, but I gave it a listen. And it's a little bit different from the last Salvia Pal album. It's a little bit more upbeat, but it's also still kind of keeps that chill um vibe or whatever of the first album um but yeah it was a it was a pretty solid record and i enjoyed the listen and at number seven i have accelerator by greek i think this album is going to go completely under the radar but it is such a great album if you have heard of greek then um you probably have heard of this album as well now since it's released but it's absolutely great um i'm not sure what genre would be like alt r and b um i would think so i guess if that's something you would like then definitely go check out this album and at number six i have timeless by k chinata um never really listened to too much k chinata but gave this album a listen and i really liked it uh the childish gambino track was my favorite um also the the uh track with anderson pock was another one of my favorites on that record but yeah definitely just a bunch of bangers through there it's like a good like summer vibes album almost i feel like that's what kei chinata really brings with his music and at number five i have no hands by joey valens and bray um this album i hadn't i was not even aware of who um these guys were and then i saw them promoting this album and um it's pretty good i see a lot of people comparing them to like the beastie boys or mf doom and um i think that's a pretty good comparison you can definitely hear the influence in their music um, and yeah, it's pretty good. They also had a um, Danny Brown feature on here, so I guess if you like Danny Brown, go check out the album or at least that song and um, see if you like that. And at number four, I have Samurai by Luke Fiasco. Um, again, wasn't really familiar with his solo catalog. I knew who he was. Um, obviously, he's been in the game for a long time. But I gave this album a listen, and it was like. It was really good like it was a very very solid rap album here um definitely up there in my favorites of the year and crazy to show how strong the month it is because it's only four in the month of june but it's one of my favorites of the entire year and at number three i have why laud by uh no worries which is the anderson pock and knowledge uh duo uh this album was really good I think all the way through there's a bunch of songs on here that I really really enjoyed um, and overall just a really nice album it'll probably be running through my rotation all summer here and at number two I have Brat by Charlie XCX a lot of people really love this album and again I I've given Charlie a try so many times and never really was able to get into her music and then when um, I would listen to this it just it just kind of clicked I really liked it um, the like experimental um instrumentals and all that are really really addicting and catchy in my opinion and i see a lot of people complaining about the all oh, the the beats carry but i mean it's literally like the kind of music it is the beat is meant to shine the vocals are there as like a complimentary piece but at number one though i have bad cameo which is the collab album between james blake and lil Yachty. I think this album was absolutely fantastic. Um, I see a lot of people like it, but there's also been people kind of hating on it, calling it boring or whatever, but I thought it was great. I love what Lil Yachty has been doing. Um, obviously, last year with Let's Start Here and now this year 
with this collab album with James Blake. Um, but yeah, anyway, that is my list for my top 10 favorite albums of June. So leave me a comment on some albums you've been listening to this month and um, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.